start we want to create a tag for our Siemens S7 signal you want to select which type of communication channel you'll be using this is Siemens TCP IP Ethernet give it an appropriate name in this case I'm just going to call it S7 1500 uh, demo channel um, according to your data map you'll name it something appropriate click next uh, select the network adapter write only yep you leave those as default and you can review your settings here and click finish now we want to add a device so you select the channel select select uh, add a device again name it appropriately this is an s7-1500 this is online now in a cabinet on a wall in the office and I'm going to be remoting into it now to to get the right um, IP address so you see here I need an IP address so I'm going to go into TIA uh, device configuration I'm going to come down here select the device select properties then go to Profinet interface scroll down you'll see where your IP address is for your PLC 192.168.1.110 okay great I'm going to enter that in here we'll be back on TIA in a moment to get our address for our tag we can leave all of these settings as default I go into more detail on these individual panels on an accompanying blog which will be linked in the description but where I change something from the norm or the default I'll be sure to let you know and then in here I want to create a tag so you right click the device click add tag you want to name it something appropriately in this case our tag in the Siemens device is called uh, SV014 um, I'm going to give it a little description just to say that this is a demonstration it's not linked to any IO map which you will have excellent okay so I'm going to open up TIA again I'm going to go into the data block where the signal is going to reside it's going to be a boolean signal you'll see here I have it called SV014 and I have a description there on the right hand side demo S7 and then down at the bottom I clicked properties and I viewed its data block address which is db1.dbx2.4 data types boolean and I want to be able to read and write the status of the signal so that's the S7 one done um, now we're going to set up the Delta V1 this is a little bit more complicated so on the Delta V uh, virtual machine I am going to select the signal which I want it to represent in this case I'm going to be using the second uh, valve CM12 signal in so when that triggers I want the signal in the Siemens device to go high or low respectively so here you can see how I branch down into it um, in Delta V by running software called OPC Expert. You run OPC Expert and this will create a communications tunnel. Uh, it uses only one port and it's an executable so it doesn't affect any running services. You can see here OPC Expert UA server and then you see OPC TCP and you have an address there of the server. We're going to need to remember that address when we're creating our communications tunnel, channel and then I'm showing you here how I branch down um, through the process cell into the unit model into the communications or pardon me the control modules and then down into the signals so I'm looking for uh, level CM and then signal in uh, signal in then CV which stands for uh, current value you will see these tags appear as green I want you to double click that and it will open up on the right hand side you right click this and select properties and this will give us two major pieces of information we'll get the path 
which will need to reference the tag and you will get the server address which was pointed out just a few seconds ago which is uh, from the TCP forward slash Delta V1 which is the name of the node and then the port address of uh, 5788 forward slash OPC expert. So coming back to Kepware on your host machine, you want to select uh, the communications type, the channel type to be OPC UA client. Next, name it appropriately. I'm just going to call it Delta V demo channel. Yeah, right only and this is where you enter in your address which I pointed out a few moments ago which was created from the OPC expert executable. I'm just gonna type that in here. Delta V1 the name of the node colon five seven triple eight forward slash OPC expert. endpoint URL and security pod. Yes, I have to actually go back here and change the security policy because of my user access. This is acceptable. Uh, yep, you can leave that blank and that is the channel created. Now I'm going to create the device. Again, these names will match your official documentation on your IO maps. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to call it Delta V device demo, just so just so we know. Um, here you can see I'm browsing to what I want to be selected. You could have just selected OK, but I'm just going to go down again to reiterate where my signal is going to reside. I'm going to go into my area, my process cell, into my equipment module, down to my control module, down to the signal, down to the current value inside that signal. That's what I want to control my Siemens device. So all the way down CV, add that. OK. Yep, we can move on from there. Review that. That's fine. Now right click that device. Add new tag, name it appropriately. Again, SV014 in this situation. I'm going to uh, put it in the description. Say that it's just the demonstration tag for the signal in signal in. Pardon me. Value of that uh, FBD for that digital input. It's a boolean type again. Okay. Fantastic. And now I'm going to ensure that they are online and communicating correctly by using the OPC Quick Client. So we've created these channels. I'm going to browse to these channels and I'm going to have a look for my tags which I've created, which will be named SV014 in both cases. So quality good. That is your main indicator. You're on the right track and you'll see value there is zero. You will get bad if you've set it up wrong to this point. And then the Siemens device, can I talk to this on the network? Yes, I can. So now I'm gonna link these two tags together by using LinkMaster. You wanna open it up, open up your local machine or where your uh, Kepware server is. In this case, it's on the local machine. You wanna browse down True Kepware Kep Server, that's the name of the server. You want to come down here to the bottom left hand panel, right click, click create group, then create link. And then you're going to want to browse an input to the Delta V signal, which you've created on Kepware. So we should see uh, SV014, brilliant. And you can see there that it's linked to the Delta V signal. You want to go to output. You want to do the same, you want to reference the Kepware server. 
and then you want to browse to the tag for the Siemens device which is in uh, I'm gonna guess S7 1500 device demo click OK It'll come up there something you're gonna to have to come up to the top hand uh, toolbar now and reinitialize by clicking the stop button start it again Great, I just deleted one of those tags there and you can see there that demo link has an input value of zero currently. And as you can see here, I'm using the second valve there, valve CM12. Sorry, let me just rearrange these screens so we can see both of these signals trigger at once. So I've selected the uh, digital input valve CM12. It has a signal in value of false. which lines up here is correct because false is zero i want to select that i want to come down to the properties i want to go into the signal in property change this to true and on the left hand side you should see the uh, link created change to one there we go okay let's change it back and then let's have a look at accessing tia on the other computer and watch the data block value change in real time. All right, so here I have the data block open, SV014, its current value is false, valve CM signal in value is false. Let's change that to true. Keep an eye on that SV014 value in the monitor in orange. Select the data block, or pardon me, Select the digital input, go to the signal in parameter, change it to true, enter, let's watch it change. Great, so this has turned on um, uh, an unused relay in our cabinet in the office. I'm gonna turn it on.